Greetings, all! And Merry Christmas! Actually, it's not Christmas till next week, but uh, I thought I'd just get one in early, you know what I mean? Yay! Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, folks! Oh! We're gonna have a jolly time, we're gonna open our presents, we're gonna sit under the tree, we're gonna drink some sherry, oh, it's gonna be a fantastic Christmas! There's fuck all on TV, except for Dog Through anyway! Oh, yeah! Anyway, hello. Um, I want to ask a question this week. Uh, it's not a theme week, you see, so I can do what I want. Uh, <coughs> feeling a bit better, as you can probably tell, but I've still got the swine flu. Yes, I know it was a swine flu. Oh, yes, I know. I just know it. But I'm not revealing it until now. I had swine flu. I probably still got a bit of it, but never mind. Uh, a question I want to ask you people this week, and I'd really love your responses because the reaction would be really funny. <laughs> Uh, I'll just leave a comment, whatever. Um, cock or gun? You already know that question, so I ask you in the title. But, uh, what's the explanation behind it? Well, I was at work this weekend, just gone, and uh, I messaged about saying that if a terrorist got you, right, a terrorist, I suppose this is more for men, but you know, women can answer it too if you want. Because, uh, well, women haven't got cocks, are they? Unless, you know, we're the, the, a bit deformed from birth and have got both. Which, uh, if there's anybody out there who's got both, can you please uh, leave a comment and tell me what it feels like? Because I've always wondered, what's it like to have both? Can you have sex with yourself? Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, we, the question is cock or gun, right? If a terrorist got you, right, and got a bit head like that, right? and got his cock and a gun, right, and said, you have to choose. What would you choose? A cock or a gun? It's a good question, isn't it? It's, it's a sensible question. But, let me just sort of give some advice on this, right? If it ever happened, and it could happen, right, because we were, you know, we sleepers all over the country. We are sleepers all over the world, but never mind. Uh, if it happened to you, right, you're fucked anyway. You are seriously fucked anyway, because, you know, if you take the cock, right, you're going to get shot anyway. So if you take a gun, at least you're going to get, well, you're going to get a cock anyway, because it's going to shoot you in the head, right, and then skull fuck you, basically. So, uh, either way, you're going to get fucked. But, um, you know, if you take a gun first, there's a strategy, though. If you take a gun first, right, uh, at least you're not going to feel the terrorist's cock, right? But if you take a cock, you're going to get shot anyway, so it's going to be a bit, uh, you know, not nice before you die. But there's a strategy, right? If you take the cock, you can chew it, nick the gun, shoot a fucker, and then you, you know, you, you, you live. You, you live, but you've, you know, had to take a terrorist's cock in your mouth. But, uh, what would you do? <laughs> what would you do? Ask me a question. That's this week's video. Right? It's disgusting. I know. Uh, if you've got any explanations on what you would do uh, if you're in that situation, uh, video responses are more welcome. In fact, I'd be really entertaining if you made a video response anyway. Okay, so until next week, which is Christmas week, uh, I think. Alan. Yes, it'd be uh, Christmas Eve when I make the video. I'll probably do it a bit before, but uh, you'll see a few decorations up and stuff. Um, <clears throat> I've got Christmas speeches to make. Uh, I want, want to make one for me on Channel Tony Times. Uh, I'm going to make a controversial one for Tony Games, as always. Tony, I think the main topic on Tony Games will be uh, people quitting in games because it's it's seriously a problem. You know, if you're a gamer and you've got Xbox Live or PlayStation, or whatever, and you leave because you can't win, you're a prick. And I've said that on games. And I'll say it again on a Christmas speech. So I don't know what I'm going to do with Christmas speeches. If I'll do a Christmas speech on here next week, I'm not sure. I don't know. I know I'm doing it for Tony Hill Times. Uh, so this week, for this one, I'd, so at the moment I've got a clue what I'm going to do for Christmas week. I have no idea. But I'll think of something. Um, I might go through my advert videos from last year and year before and think, what can I do for a Christmas video for TCT? You'll find out next week. Uh, thanks for watching this one. Hopefully you'll answer the question. And if you're offended in any way about a question, I don't mean any offence at all. Especially, well actually, yeah, if you're a terrorist, well, wow, that whistle really come out, didn't it? I've got, I've got whistle flu. I can't whistle. <laughs> anyway, 
two. Uh, yeah, so next week, Christmas, uh, week after that, it's New Year's. Uh, thanks for watching, and bye bye. Almost forgot my picture of a cow. Well, last week I said, How much money have I got in my hand? Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, look, it's 65 pence. First nearest was Kung Fu Fights 1. He said 63 pence. Yes, you now win the cow. Yes, well done. Woohoo.